hungry, hungry, thirsty. Total of three articles. The first one is entitled "The Rohingya People of Myanmar: Health, Human Rights, and Identity" by Dr. Said S. Mahmud. This article stated that Rohingya people have lived in Arakan State, Orang King State, kingdom conquered by Burma in 1784 for centuries. Myanmar government does not recognize the Rohingya people as a distinct and legitimate group. The Rohingya people are referred to as Bangladeshi and Bengali foreigners in Myanmar. The reason Rohingya people of Myanmar were stripped of citizenship in 1982 is merely because they could not prove that their ancestor ancestor has settled in Burma before 1823. The second article is Myanmar's Rohingya Apartheid by Emmanuel Stocks. According to this article, in September 2014, Myanmar Foreign Minister Una Maung Luin has announced to delegates of UN General Assembly that an action plan for a kin Rankin State has been finalized and will be launched. This plan is designed to preserve peace, stability, harmony, and development for all the people living there. Rohingya people who fail to produce paperwork, proving their presence in the country for generations, will be subjected to confinement in temporary camps. And the plan envisions possibly resettled overseas with the aid of the UNHCR. The authorities may be trying to manipulate some of the Rohingya people to classify themselves as. Illegal Bengalis without their consent. The government strategy can also be viewed as an ethno ethnocidal plan and a potential route to ethnic cleansing. Last but not least, our third article is the Rohingya and Islamic extremism, a convenient myth by Eliot by Eliot Brennan and Christopher O'Hara. According to Yuviratu, a Buddhist monk stated that Islam poses an exist. Potential threat to Myanmar. The reason for this, for his remarks, is the citation of one Muslim militant organization, the Rohingya Solidarity Organization (RSO). The RSO is often accused of being responsible for coordinated attacks against the Myanmar that seeks to promote jihad in Myanmar. The Rohingya have been largely isolated from the influence of global jihadi and Islamic extremist groups. Since they are living in poverty and treated unjustly by the former by the former junta government, Rohingya conflict is very wide and famous throughout the world. Therefore, there are myriads of articles and news that were produced, whether it is because of their race, gender, sex, or religion. This paper will focus. More on the political issues and the religion issues that affect the lives of the Rohingya. The objective of this article is to explain more about the major issues that involve the Rohingya and the government of Myanmar. The threat of Rohingya insurgency also comes from a country that is further from Myanmar. The Rohingya will always be named as the jihadis and the extremists of Islam by the Myanmar government. They were assumed as the terrorists of the country. However, the Rohingyas who were retrospectively stripped of their citizenship in law in a law passed by the former military dictatorship in 1982 have been largely isolated from the influence of global jihadi and Islamic extremist groups since they are living in poverty and treated unjustly by the former junta government. One of many advantages of this article is to explain about the culture activity of Rohingyas and the political issues that affect their grassroots culture that was supposed to be in Myanmar. Before commencing this article, uh, an individual was originally from Myanmar was interviewed. Therefore, most of this article were based on the interview. And furthermore, this article does not only focus on political issues, but more. This topic is because we are against discrimination and violence towards people. 
and in Myanmar, most Rohingya has, have no legal identity or citizenship. Inside the country, Rohingya children are hemmed in by violence, forced displacement and restrictions on freedom of movement. In Bangladesh, Rohingya children are not being registered at birth. Lacking a legal identity, they are unable, <coughs> they are unable to secure refugee status. Until the conditions are in place in Myanmar, um, that would allow Rohingya families to return home with uh, basic rights, um, safety from violence to citizenship, free movement and health and education, they are stuck in Bangladesh with all the violence. No one knows for how long, but it is very serious. Meanwhile, children are unable to follow a form formal education curriculum, depriving them of the skills that they want. So. They are just desperately need if they are developed to thrive in the future. Um, all the children and adolescents who are deprived from opportunities to learn or make a living are at a real risk of becoming a lost generation. Girls and women are at particular risk uh, of sexual and other gender based violence in this situation, including being forced into early marriage and being left out of school as parents keep them home. When hundreds of thousands of um, terrified refugees, uh, Rohingya refugees especially, began flooding into the beaches, uh, it was the children who caught many people's attention, especially the world, and also UNICEF. As the refugees, almost 60% almost of whom were children, poured across the border from Myanmar into Bangladesh. They brought with them accounts of unspeakable violence and brutality that had forced them to flee. For my part of presentation, it is the data and the discussion. This data is based on the research of the Rohingya in Cox's Bazaar by Bathia and his team. Based on the result, household demographic, the researchers sample almost 1,828 individuals in 400 Rohingya households and 2,001, 19 individuals across 400 host community household. Based on the result of descriptive statistics, household demographic for the two population, the Rohingya household has a higher number of female that is 51% overall compared to the host population that is 47 female. The data for morality, there are 78 deaf Rohingya household in the 12th month preceding the survey and the host committee of 16 deaf that is 10% reported one deaf in the household and 2.5% two deaf and one almost 1% 1 reported three deaf but the host community has no household reported than one deaf, as the researchers said. As for education, majority of the Rohingya household members over the age of 15 and almost 76% reported having no education and 52% of Rohingya children under the age of 15 are not attending school. For host community members, 43% over the age of 15 has not received education but those children who are attending school most of it is attend school run by the non-governmental organization based on the research and survey almost 24 percent has attend islamic school also known as the madrasas and 18 percent attended by attended private school as has been set on the on the research itself for data uh, vac vaccination of Rohingya according to the recommendation vaccination schedule for children the children should receive four doses of oral vaccines and nine doses of injectable vaccines okay, but uh, <coughs> Almost 167 children aged 2 and younger among the Rohingya households and 600 and almost 600, 1, 2 percent, uh, percent had received no doses of injectable vaccine in Myanmar and 2 percent had 
receive five or more doses in in Myanmar, and the older children was also included. Okay, as as the result, as the result of this, the challenges face, facing the Rohingya while also providing contextual information about the Bangladeshi communities hosting them. The data of the Rohingya in Cox's Bazaar, based on the research, made most Rohingya adults over 15 years old are very low. Okay. In the conjunction with the higher number of household death in researchers survey, it is mostly caused by war affected population with violent death and of males. Based on the data vaccine again, as discussion from the research, we, we can say that a high number of the Rohingya children has no vaccine and the large number of vaccine campaign camps majority of the Rohingya children yet to receive the vaccination. This proves that the discriminatory of uh, an unconsensual practices of the Myanmar government against the vulnerable section of their society. Okay. Next part I would like to present about how Rohingya crisis reflecting relation with other countries. The Rohingya crisis has been affecting other countries. Almost one million Rohingya refugees fleeing mainly to Bangladesh and other countries headed by land into Bangladesh called Bazaar district while traveled by sea to Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia. Take for example, how this crisis has affected Malaysia. Malaysia could be on the national security threats. Malaysia continued to accept Rohingya refugees on ad hoc basis on humanitarian ground as this goes on. Of some of the management of unregistered Rohingya refugees refugees in Malaysia could provide the impetus of the criminal group to spread the illegal activities. As for the refugees without the UN card or identity card in Malaysia can involve in drug trafficking or other illegal activities as they do not officially have any status in their country. Nextly, it also affected affected other countries such as Bangladesh in terms of economy. For example, the Cox Bazaar case. It used to be Bangladesh main tourist destination as it now is full of foreign aid workers. Most of the Bangladeshis uh, complain about losing their works to the refugees because the refugees willing to accept lower wage and some price hikes for basic goods. Most of the problem and the effects effects are the same in all countries. Social unrest, a threat to national security and impact on local and local economy. That's all for me. Thank you. Okay, so hello everyone. Now I'm going to conclude the discussion on minority conflict which is based on Rohingya conflict. So minority conflict is mainly the most sensitive issue facing by a country in terms of the extent of physical and social destruction. Myanmar holds a minority conflict problem which is the Rohingya minority conflict. The Rohingya minority conflict is not new. It has been stated since World War II or before that. The second is that this minority conflict is not merely about state oppression of a depth side and vulnerable ethno-religious minority, but rather a multipolar conflict with conflict and violence. Latest refugee case it was stated around 700,000 Rohingya were recently fled Myanmar and moved into Bangladesh. Since 1980s, many mosques, religious schools and buildings have been demolished and repairs to them was prohibited. The religious activities of these minorities were severely reduced. The Muslim monuments, place name, historical site and uh, Muslim cemeteries being destroyed. The report becomes a severe accusation of the Myanmar authorities. This shows that a random killing, uh, burning villages, attacks on children, and gang raping women, which caused at least 750,000 Rohingya people from Rohingya state. However, the Rohingya people are considered as a minority conflict on the planet. Due to less population, Rohingya people suffering to claim their rights to stay in their own country. Hence, 
the problem between Rohingya and uh, Arganis in Rohingya state have led to attack on Rohingya people. This violation start to grow very rapidly and it developed into a humanitarian crisis. So many Rohingya Muslim people started to driven from their homes. So in conclusion, nearly uh, half a million Rohingya had fled the country with the UN condemning the Burmese government for its policy of ethnic cleansing. Satellite imagery shows that almost total destruction of 284 villages with the total Rohingya population in Burma having been estimated to be approximately 1.2 million. This means that over a third of the community had been evicted from the country in the space of little more than a month, with, while tens of uh, thousands had also uh, been displaced within the country's border. Thank you. Today, I will talk about the suggestion on how to solve uh, Rohingya ethnic crisis. First, giving a talk and help in the form of support to create peace, awareness, and ta to tackle the crisis. This type of help is to help them to overcome the crisis that occur among Rohingya ethnic and to expose them, to acknowledge them and to acknowledge them. And next, providing food supplies and military assistance to the ethnic community of Rohingya consistently. Since their country is lack of food, so this type of help will avoid starvation that occur among them and to ensure that they are in a good health. After that, provide and show them access of safe pathway to humanitarian and relief agencies in Rohingya IDP camps. This is to protect them when a war or conflict happen. Improve and tighten the discriminatory policies and restrictions. This involves the law uh, in, in their country, which to strengthen the law in their country. Religious scholars need to play its role and give full commitment to what works for the cause as no religions allow a force act. Same as other country, when there is happen, uh, force act happen, uh, there will be a um, um, law that will be discussed this case. Coalition of Myanmar needs arbitration and requires recognizing scores of stateless people living within the country. In 1952, citizenship law warrants immediate adjustments for removal of discriminatory clauses against Rohingya Muslims and other minorities in the region. Accord them, and lastly, accord them citizenship status to enable them to enjoy their basic rights in a civilized and democratic country. So, our team members managed to get interview with the victim uh, in Kuantan Rohingya Center who came to Malaysia eight years ago as a refugee and then he shared with us about his experience uh, when in Myanmar where his family members being killed by the government and then the children of Rohingya are being uh, are getting raped by the government army they are also share with us uh, that the the army of the army of Myanmar government burn their village and mosque. They also put the Rohingya people to jail for no reason. And then he also share with us uh, on how uh, he and his family members. Uh, come to Malaysia as a refugee from uh, Thailand to uh, Kedah by boat uh, and then he also uh, share with us that uh, the agent that they pay uh, to transfer them from the uh, Myanmar to Thailand and then to Malaysia the human trafficking agent yeah they have to pay the uh, the agent 
to get out from uh, Myanmar. He also shared his talk about the conflict on how uh, his opinion on how to solve this uh, issue, the Rohingya ethnic issue. Uh, he also um, he also share his talk about the uh, on how a Malaysian government treat them, treat the Rohingya uh, people uh, in Malaysia. Thank you. We the best music. Yeah.